is on the way in prayer. We believe that prayer can change anything. So whatever that you are going through, I want you to know that you are not alone. We walk as a family. Are you hearing me? We walk as a family. So we want to hear that prayer request. And we want to stand on the gap. This is our motto. What get what? It gets all of us. Are you hearing me? If one of us is attacked, the devil must know that he has attacked all of us. I want you to look at your neighbor say, neighbor, I am my brother's keeper. Say, neighbor, I am my brother's keeper. Look at another neighbor say, neighbor, whatever that attacks you, is attacking me. Every arrow against you, I will make sure it cannot destroy you. Come on, clap hands yourself, hallelujah. Now, today, I want to take as limited time as possible. Because I want us to fight like never before. You know, I thank the Lord for the time of testimony. Sometimes we need to hear what the Lord is doing. She is testifying. I recall. How she came in the blood one day. Legs cold. She was gone. And God revived this woman. And the because if he did not have your back, you are not supposed to be here. God have your back. So no, no matter the storms, I want you to know your father in heaven. He will never allow anybody to destroy you. Any altar to destroy you. Because if there was no use, you would be gone. Now listen to me, Kevin. 2024 is here. It's came on. Are you hearing me? I think 2024, I want you to stand on your feet. And you say whatever that was destroying me, whatever that was fighting against me, I am rising up and cannot destroy her. Are you hearing me? I want you to shout, 2024 is mine. I cannot hear you say, 2024 is mine. I am taking over this year. I am taking over this year. Hallelujah. We thank the Lord. We are in the year of generational cleansing of my blood. You can tell that was me, the guys are begging. <laughs> <laughs> Is this not beautiful? Yeah. Now, listen to me. You were destroyed, not from outside. You were destroyed. By what you are carrying. The prince of this world is coming. And he's not going to do anything. Because there is nothing of him in me. This is Jesus. I cannot be destroyed if there is nothing of the devil in me. So my protection is by getting rid of what is in me. My covering, my blessing 
if when I get rid of what I am carrying that belongs to the enemy, this is why Christians have been destroyed. I pray, I fast, I seek the face of the Lord. But why is my life not changing? There is something of the devil that you did not work out. It's in you. So now in this year, I want you as an individual, I want you to ask questions. What is it of the devil in my blood? So you are connected. Understand this. You are connected. You are not an individual. There is actually three personalities that you are getting. I am the Lord. I will test. But said in the fourth generation of them who do not love me. But why are you kissing me for what my great grandfather did? Your father in heaven is a farmer. He understands that harvest is from a seed. We want to correct the harvest. I must work on the seed. You are the harvest. You don't determine what is happening in your life. Somebody sowed something. And whatever that you are seeing is a manifestation. There was a time that I thought about a program. The things that I want to do, I do not do. But that which I do not want, I am doing exactly In other words, there is something that is programming me. There is something that is controlling me. I do not want to steal. But I am ending up stealing. I do not want to fornicate. But I am ending up fornicating. What is the problem? There is something that you are carrying in your life. Your deliverance is when you begin to look into that. Jehovah, something happened. My father did something. My great great father entered into covenant. But right now, Jehovah God, I want your forgiveness. Any case in my blood, any spell in my blood, any incantation in my blood, let it be removed. Let it be taken out. That's how I want you to pray. Are you hearing me, church? Listen, don't be excited. Music, it does not do the job. Coming to church, it does not do the job. The knowledge of what you are doing is what will change things. Are you hearing me? Deliverance, listen. Deliverance is priest. Deliverance is a lesson. Deliverance is a lecture. You are determined your coming out or your staying in is determined by how you are applying that which you have. I can have information, I can write notes that will not do the deliverance. But when I begin to do, I begin to live, I begin to preach what the word is saying. Listen, Jesus Christ is coming. There is no two ways. Jesus Christ is here. There is no two ways. I want your life to be in order. The things that I must take care of, I need to take care of them. Whatever that destroyed my father, I need to deal with them. Whatever that destroyed my grandfather, I have to stand up head on and I begin to say by the heart, this issue, this issue, it cannot be my blood. So when you are fasting, when you are praying, your prayer is this, is there something in my blood that you do not want? Jehovah God, let the thing be removed. Jehovah God, let my blood. 
Meaning when you shed innocent blood, 
you don't have a fixed house. Are you hearing me? You are running. Whether you want to settle in that job. After six months, you must go. Whether you like it or not, you start a business. After two months, you must quit and start another business. Already, that's a sign that in your lineage, blood was shed. No, in the eyes of the Lord, you are the same. Unless you disconnect yourself. So now we are saying, Lord, generational cleansing. I started to say, we killed. We worshiped another God. So, oh, the Lord, we committed a Now, some of you, your dreams, they tell you what exactly is happening in your blood. You are dreaming yourself, you are flying. You see yourself eating. You are seeing yourself at the graveyard. You are seeing yourself at shrines. And you are saying, I never stepped Yes, you did. In your blood, there's something that was doing it. So your deliverance is when you begin to intercede for them. How do you do that? Now, I'm recapturing what I told you before. How do I intercede? Ah, I travel begging prayer. Listen to me. In the spirit realm, you, where you are, you can walk in the future. You can also walk in the past. You are defeated because you are praying from here. I want you to learn to enter into the spirit and you begin to pray for my future. You begin to pray from the past. I have access. I had 20 years ago. I can go back there and begin to correct. But what gives me a key in order for me to be able to travel, there is a bus ticket to pay. Are you hearing me? So start with this immediate guy, your father. In order for me to go backwards, I must stop what my father was doing that the Lord did not want. Are you with me? Remember, this church is a school. We, we are learning. Is a school. I didn't want to undo this thing. I have to control my flesh. I have to kill my flesh. If I continue as he was, we have no right to enter in this tomb. That's the reason why there are generational cases that are still following you. Even though you are calling upon the name of the Lord, remember Christianity is a lifestyle. Hallelujah. Now, listen to me, Captain. My father was a fornicator. 
If I don't deal with it, sooner or later I'll fall in that. If I deal with it, I am able to intercede for him. That's the beginning of generational cleansing. First of all, stop what your father was doing. Are you with me? Look at your neighbor. Stop what your father was doing. Work with that. Work with that. I gave you an example. And I said Jesus Christ, because that's what we are about to talk. talk. He came to rescue Adam. Adam. But he was not going to be able to do that if he was living like Adam. That's why the Bible says he was without sin. And yet he became a sin for Adam. Look at the office that Jesus has. The Bible says he's seated at the high place. He's seated far above. What is he doing? Interceding. I want you to teach yourself prayer. Are you hearing me? Amen. So now, I look at my weaknesses. And I, I start to work on them. You want breakthrough? You cannot have breakthrough if you are living exactly. The same with this person. Yes, ma'am. So, what if? Sorry. Um, what if you don't know what the weaknesses were for that person? Your weaknesses. Your you look at your weaknesses because you are exactly this one. You you are a seed. How of question? Listen to me. You are a seed. Let's say your father. You never met your father. Yes. You never met your mother. Yes. Look inside you. If you are a gossiper, how would you have one man? Your mother, your father was a gossiper. Look at people that are fornicators. Their fathers were exactly like that. So if I remember these people were hiding it. Are you hearing me? They never shouted that we are about to go and enter into a covenant. Look inside you. The weaknesses. Is those guys. Listen. You're just a produce. Are you hearing me? You are just a produce. Our wives they cook like their mothers. If the food you are eating, how you are eating it is not nice. Don't blame your wife. Mother, you know. Do you have any wife? Yes, yes. 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 Yes, Oh. 
people are fighting their battles. You have your own battles. I have my own battles. That we need to deal with. And sometimes you just need that person. Who say it's going to be okay. Rise up, it's going to be fine. No judgment. Ah, uh, look at them, they couldn't even pay their rent. Ah, uh, look at them, they are always fighting. Ah, uh, look at them, this one, she's, she's, she's wrecking homes. I have a better, better understanding as a pastor. Better understanding. Because we have met people. I don't even know why I'm doing this. I understand. This is what I don't even know. Why am I doing this? I don't want to do it. I hate you. I don't want to do it. I do. Because you have projects. So now. You now have the right so when I to, get, to go here and say, Father, we sin. To go here and say, Father, we sin. To get here and say, Father, we sin. Or you know what the Bible says? Father, forgive them. Meaning your blood is washed. I don't want you to embarrass. I don't want you to end there. That's the purpose of this sentence. Every time a law is breached, something is taken. In the book of Ephesians, there is something that the word of God is saying. Now that he ascended, now that he ascended, there is something that Jesus did first. That I want you to understand. He did not start by just going. Remember, he came for a reason. And the reason was to restore the first Adam. And after he was without sin, before he ascended, he went down. Now listen to me carefully. Jesus is at the cross of Calvary. And the Bible says there was a great earthquake. The sun was darkened. The earth shook. And Christ is saying, 